the natural world is extraordinary. It's a complex super system of millions of organisms shaping and adapting to the environment they live in. Every living species has a place within the spectrum of nature. The mighty elephant, a keystone species, carves pathways through the thick African bush. Their mere footprint can form a watering hole many years later, providing a vital resource to many an animal. The lion, an apex predator, always on the prowl for an easy meal, ensures with other predators that populations of many species of prey are kept in balance. Yet, as marvellous as these big cats and other mammals of the bush may be, any natural ecosystem is more complicated than just a few species. Nature involves every species contributing to sustain and maintain itself. In this episode, we take a closer look at the smaller species that play a vital role in sustaining a healthy and natural ecosystem. The presence of birds are always a good indicator of a healthy environment. They are vast and numerous in number and often overlooked in your typical safari experience. But here on Shamwari Private Game Reserve, we know how important they are within the bigger picture and is home to over 275 species of birds. Birds of prey help ensure rodent and reptile populations are kept in check. And many others help in seed dispersal, ensuring new flora can grow and germinate in new locations. The red-billed oxpecker feeds on ticks, usually from the larger mammals like rhino and buffalo. They form a mutualistic relationship with these animals, where their hosts get cleaned of parasites and they themselves get to have an almost unlimited source of food. The pied crow helps with the decomposition process of a carcass. They will often feed off the last scraps of carrion, ensuring that no nutrients are wasted. The black-backed jackal is also an important species when it comes to the nutrient cycle and maintaining an ecological balance. Being scavengers and omnivorous, they will eat almost anything. They feed on insects, eggs and small reptiles and rodents, and even birds or small or young antelope when an opportunity arises. They also play an important role in removing sick and old animals from populations. Socially monogamous, a pair of jackals bond for life. Their young initially use their parents' territory to gain survival experience and also to assist in raising more recent litters. Later in life, they undertake wide-ranging excursions until they find their own mates and territories. The black-backed jackal is a highly vocal species and their calls are a common sound right throughout the night. It communicates with group members and advertises its presence by a high-pitched whining howl and expresses alarm through an explosive cry, followed by shorter, 
high-pitched yelps. Warthogs are also a common sighting while out in the bush. They are found in abundance in savannas and open woodlands. They live in burrows, usually created by other species, and more specifically by the artvark. Their diet is omnivorous and are often seen kneeling on their calloused, hairy padded knees while eating short grass. During the dry season, they will subsist off roots, bulbs and rhizomes. They will on occasion also eat insects and even earthworms. They are primarily identified by their two pairs of tusks protruding from their mouths and curving upwards. The tusks are used for combat with each other as well as a defense mechanism against predators. However, their greatest defense is their speed. They can run up to 48 km per hour and they will avoid predation by sprinting to their burrows and entering them rear first with their tusks facing outwards. Another regular sighting while out on drive and also a smaller mammal that lives underground is the yellow mongoose. Yellow mongooses are primarily diurnal and spend most of their day foraging. They rest or sunbathe outside their dens before going off to feed and travel. Yellow mongooses are carnivores. They mainly eat insects, including ants, termites, locusts and beetles. Living in permanent burrows, they often share them with meerkats and ground squirrels and are known to make highly complex burrows. Nature is full of extraordinary variance and abundance and it's when you take a closer look at some of the smaller species that one better understands the bigger picture of how an ecosystem functions and maintains itself. There are still many smaller species to look at, which are equally important in the ecological balance of nature, and we will be sure to look at some of them in the future. But until then, we hope you enjoyed this episode, and see you next time. Bye for now.